Now, the other two letters that have never been made public. These were letters written to me. All right, again, let me get this thing in. There are two of them. Okay, all right. The first one is January 3rd, 2000. And I had just interviewed Michael Dukakis, all right, for the factor. And he was claiming that Iran-Contra was worse than the Clinton's obstruction of justice, all right? Um, so I called, as a, any good journalist would, uh, President Bush the Elder and said, what are your comments? Here is the letter for the first time, because again, President Bush said, look, Bill, I'll put it in writing to you, I trust you, but only when I pass can it be made public. The letter reads, quote, I watched the tape you sent me and was amazed at hearing Michael Dukakis claim that Iran-Contra was worse than Clinton's obstruction of justice and lying under oath, for which our president was indicted and in the House impeached. I don't believe I was ever a subject of Mr. Walsh's vendetta against Reagan. Certainly I was never indicted. Should there have been any merit to what Dukakis said, you can bet that a highly partisan Democratic-controlled House would have had hearings and tried to get me. They did just that on their crazy charge about my meeting Iranians in Paris to try to get Iran to keep Americans in captivity so Reagan could win in 1988. Crazy, but they did just that only to strike out. I never lied, nor was it ever seriously alleged that I lied. I did pardon some of the indictees, and I have never had any regrets about doing that. To check my memory, I'm sending the tape along with my White House counsel, Bowden Gray, asking that he look at Dukakis' charge, then in total confidence, to contact you about what Dukakis said. These comments are passed along to you under the guidelines outlined by you in paragraph three of your letter. That was that I would not make the letters public until he passed. All right, so um, Dukakis, in uh, um, trying to prop up uh, Bill Clinton, um, said that uh, Iran Katra was worse than what Clinton did, and Bush the Elder replied to me. Okay, very fascinating, isn't it? And um, if you look back at Iran Contra, the intent was noble, but it's very difficult to deal with a, a regime like Iran, even in that kind of a situation, because you're going to get burned, and that's what happened. They all got burned. All right, the second one is written to me on December 8th, 2007, all right? And it was about press bias toward Bush the Younger while he was president. Dear Bill, first, I agree with you about the national press bias. There are, of course, exceptions, but for the most part, I think there's clear favoritism for liberals and for the Democrats. Of course, I may be biased because some like the New York Times, and they are the worst. And they are the worst. So says Bush the Elder. Mercilessly hammer the president all the time, and I don't like it. Surprise. You ask about 88, 92. I felt I got much fairer treatment in 88 than in 92. I don't recall any advice on dealing with the press from my friend President Reagan during the 88 campaign. He may have given some advice, but if he had, I'd forgotten it an old age thing, perhaps. Fairly or unfairly, I felt the national press was almost unanimously opposed to my reelection in 92, favoring Bill Clinton instead. The major network coverage was clearly for Clinton and against me. And that's true. I felt that President Reagan got a bad rap when some wrote that he did not care if I won or not. I'm told his diaries, which I have not read, laid the rest of some of that criticism. I never felt he held back or did not want me to win. You ask about Barbara, well, she's doing very well. We have a joint problem, however. We watch The Factor every night. I tape it so we can skip some of the ads, but we faithfully watch it the same night. Also, we noted that in your White House interview, you treated the president, that's Bush the Younger, with respect and in a very fair way, and that meant a lot to his proud, totally supportive parents. Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful 2008. Okay, so those are the letters that uh, Bush the Elder wrote to me, and um, I'm happy to share them with you. So once again, President Bush, patriot, good man, good father, honest, be a uh, day of mourning on Wednesday, and, um, you know, we ought to think about him. <laughs>